Hello aspiring gamers. This is a video on the best Steam games to play on in 2022 with your partner. Either your girlfriend or your fiance in my case, or your wife, or your husband, or your boyfriend, or something in between, it doesn't matter. We have the game for you. And so we're going to start with entry level. We've gone through a lot of games, you guys. And yeah, we've played a lot of games together. We've been together for three years, and I'm like a gaming fiend, always buying Jasmine a new game and having us play together. So we've played, if you look over at my master sheet here, I have this all in alphabetical, and we're going to go in order according to difficulty here. So I just made like a quick pivot table to have it. So we're going to start with the entry level games. And it looks like the first one on our list is one of the more popular ones, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. So this is for if your girlfriend's never gamed before, I would say that this is on the upper end of like tolerable because I know one friend who played this game with his girlfriend and it didn't go as well as he had hoped. She yeah. just fell off every time. Yeah. It I I agree that it would be on like the upper end of frustrating of frustrating for a person who's never touched a controller or a mouse pad or like like um what are they called Logan like the WASD games keyboard keyboard games whatever they're called <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about KBM mouse and keyboard and mouse yeah that's what I was trying to say um so if you've never touched any of that and it takes you a little bit to you know, learn controls and that kind of thing. If you don't pick them up real quick, I can see that game not being as the easiest. Yeah, and also it's a PvP game, so that makes it, like, player versus player. So you're playing against other people, which automatically makes it hard. Even though it doesn't matter if you come in last every time, it can be frustrating. Very much so. Yeah, but it's fun. It's like a platformer, like a, you know, it's like a Battle Royale platformer kind of thing. It's a really fun game. I recommend it. So Farm Together is the next one on our list. Now this is truly entry level, guys. There's one button in the whole game. You only press A ever to plant your crops or harvest them. So you're either planting a crop or harvesting it. You can get fish, you can get animals, you can get trees, you can get all kinds of cool stuff and build a huge farm. And all you do is drive around on your tractor and press A. Farm Together is a great game if... Again, your partner has never gamed before, or maybe they have gamed, and you just really don't want to think about the game, because you just drive around, and you're together, and there's all different things you can plant and harvest and, like, decorate. You can even get honey. You can get honey. You, you, yeah, you can build your own house and have your own decoration and stuff. This yeah. is a good game for entry level, guys. It's, it's fun. There, you, you can't die or anything. Nope. And it's just, it's just simple. You just Very farm. simple. There's nothing more simple than this game. That's one of my favorite games, just because it's so I know, I want to play it again. Yeah. And the way, it's kind of cool, because as you get higher and higher tier crops, they harvest in real time. So, like, some will take, like, ten minutes, but then other ones take, like, three days. Like, there's these... I forgot about that. There's these blue flowers that take three days to grow, and they're, like, super pretty. And I would, like, leave them blossomed. Like, lining the walkway to the farmhouse. Yeah, we should play it again. It'd yeah, be fun. Yeah, I totally forgot it was in real time. And then we got golf with your friends, not golf wish your friends. Golf with your friends. I like that one. Yeah. I suggest it. Um, it's very fun. And it's good for entry level because all you have to do is just pick the direction you're going to hit your ball and how hard you're going to hit it. And it's like mini golf. It's good for entry level and I wouldn't quite say like learning controls specifically, but getting an idea of like f how much force to use when like setting up your like the ball for the, the hole or whatever. Um, it's fun. You can play it with a lot of people and just yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, so if you're like Polly or whatever, and you've got like ten girlfriends, you can play it with all of them. Yes. That's Actually, true. no, eight. You can only have seven girlfriends. <laughs> and then we got um, the one we've been playing the most recently, Nessess. 
This is like a top-down Terraria, if I had to describe it as well as I could. Um, so it's like an open-world survival crafting game, but you don't... You can't die of thirst or anything. You build a base, you get a settlement, you get um, townspeople to form your settlement, and, you know, you have to mine and harvest wood and harvest leather and wool, and you can, like, farm animals, you can um, grow crops, you fight bosses, there's a lot of loot, a lot of loot in Nisses. It's a very fun game, it's very complete. And the way it works is you have your home island and then it's like it's all islands and you can travel between them and there's different biomes and they're actually always updating it. So this one is like a hidden gem, guys. Nisses is a hidden gem. I really like Nisses because with the recent update they added cooking and I love cooking in any of the games I play. Yeah, we need like tomato and cabbage exactly. and so we, we just went and bought the seeds. And so um, with this newest update, it's been like a better game the original uh, whatever like pre-update was still good but with this new one they've added a lot of stuff and they're really still like. going to keep updating mm -hmm. so yeah but it is hidden like it's not played by a lot of people so Nessus is awesome guys portal 2 all righty well this is like a classic, everyone, like most, this is like the first one you'll see on any list if you Google like games to play with a girlfriend. Um, it's a puzzle game. I put it entry level because the controls are easy, but it's like pretty, it's as easy as you want to make it. Like you can do the most easy basic puzzles ever if you want. And then just kind of, uh, if you like go through the co-op campaign, it starts out pretty damn easy. Yeah, I haven't played Portal 2 in a while, but... As long as you stay in the the easier levels, you know, it's fine. It's not frustrating. But if you get the harder, you know, the, the higher the level you get, the harder it is. And if you like puzzles and if you like trying to solve them, you know, that's a fun game. But if you're easily frustrated, maybe stay to the lower levels. Pummel Party. It's like Mario Party. Now, Pummel Party is a great game to play in a, in a group of people also. But um, you can play it with friends online also, and it's it's just a modern Mario party. Isn't the max four, or is there parties of bigger than four? The max is four on a local machine, but oh. you can have, I'm pretty sure you can have games up to eight. Oh, I see. Pummel um, Party's fun. Pummel Party is a cool game, so it's like, you know, if you haven't played Mario Party, it's like, you have a, it's like a you're playing on a board so it's like a board game but then every turn there's a mini game involved and the mini games are all really fun guys it's like you know it's all those funny ones where you have to like knock other people off of a platform or you have to like dodge cars and stuff like that and it's incorporated into the board game they have a lot of good mini games but if you're, is this in the beginning entry, the level. entry level? There's some that you'll just get wrecked. You'll need to take those games out because yeah. I played mm -hmm. this when I was still kind of new to gaming. And there are even still, there are plenty of mini games that I refuse to play. I make him take them out. When he yeah, the you can ban certain mini games from the game. That's why it's entry level. Yeah, so as long as you do that, it's fine. But, um, yeah, a lot of the mini games, most of the mini games are really fun, and it's really cool. Ranch Simulator, we just started playing. Um, it's new, so they're still adding content. They just added new species of cows and stuff. Um, it's very, very simple, peaceful, relaxing. All you're doing is just farming animals. It's fun, and I always hate killing animals in the game. Hate killing animals there is hunting life. in this game and you kind of do have to hunt for money early on so i let logan do that so if <laughs> you are somebody who doesn't like killing animals even in video games and doesn't like eating meat even in video games maybe let the person who is okay with that do that part but you know the whole that whole game is super fun and i really like playing it because you just build things and i love building things and you take care of the animals which is really fun so. oh yeah the farmhouses are huge yeah it's a lot it's, there's a bit of a this it's pretty grindy so this one like you need to play for a good amount of hours to get anything going because it's like a simulator so like you're starting your ranch out True. 
So there's like an early game grind to this game. But it's entry level because there's nothing difficult in it. No, the controls aren't hard. It's literally just picking things up and setting things down. Yeah. And it's fun, too. Um, you can get chickens. Right now, they only have chickens, pigs, and cows, but it's because it's new. So, like, over the course of 2022, they're going to add a lot to this game. Rounds is, like, a 1v1 platform dueling game. You would remember it. It's the one Gail and Eli played when they came over. The one with, like, you have, like, it's like Kirby. They look like two little, like, balls, and you fight each other. And then every time you lose, you get an extra power-up. The loser gets a power-up. I'll pull it up for people. We only played it, like, a couple times. So Jasmine's going to be looking at the screen. Yeah, you see? So it's like a platforming fighting game. It looks like stick It's like fighting. stick fight. It's a lot like stick fight the game, which is the last one on the list. So stick fight and rounds are the are both the same. You're playing against each other, one versus one. But it's entry level and it's really funny. That game is so fun. Stick fight and rounds. I can't recall rounds specifically, but I'm gathering it's pretty much the same thing as stick fight. That one's really fun because if you are not the gamer in the relationship... You can beat the gamer in the relationship yep. really easy. like Or I'm just really bad. Just kind of unexpectedly in that part. Really your non-gamer girlfriend can kick your ass. And it's like really validating. So And it's just fun. And that's a game you can play on the couch too. You don't need to be at your computer. It doesn't need to be PC, I don't think. Does no, it? no, it's couch. Yeah. It's all couch co-op. It's on Xbox too. And Stick Fight. Stick Fight's the same. Stick Fight has a little bit more mechanics. So, Stick Fight has a higher skill ceiling, but it's still very, very entry-level and fun and hilarious. And you can play with up to four. Oh, yeah, yes. And there's, like, all these weapons and stuff that you can get. Yep. It's fun. So, that's for entry-level. Should we... I mean, maybe I could just make... I don't know how long this video is, but maybe we could just make four parts. Entry-level and then moving on from the entry-level... Because we need to get, we need to eat dinner right now, so. What time is it? It's 7.55. All right. Cool, guys. So, yeah, this will be, like, this is, like, a good entry-level list of games to play. Um, especially Farm Together is, like, true, true entry-level. Like, as in, like, a six-year-old or a seven-year-old could play. Yeah, I think my nephews could probably start to get the hang of it. Yeah. And they're ch babies. Yeah. So yeah, that but it's fun. Like I want to play it again. I want to fire it up after talking about it because you can get an epic farm, guys. You can get a huge yeah. farm with so many different flowers and trees. It's, and you it's can like keep a expanding. Yeah, farm. yeah. So the next, the next for beginner, we're gonna go into games like I'll give you guys a sneak peek. We got games like No Man's Sky, Orcs Must Die Two, Outriders, Overcooked Two. Astroneer, Brawlhalla, Castle Crashers, Deep Rock Galactic, our favorite, uh, Destiny 2, Valheim, <clears throat> Cryofall. I put Stardew Valley as medium. I'll talk about why later, but you should at least check out Stardew Valley. Maybe play it yourself if you're a gamer to decide if you think your girlfriend could handle it. Whether or not it's easy or medium kind of depends on how you want to play it because... There is a big time constraint in st like cooked into Stardew Valley where you really the game really wants you to be efficient with your time. So if you're just like it's not as good for just like infinite time just meandering around like not having to worry about the crops going bad or anything. Like in Farm Together, nothing goes bad. You just leave it there until you're ready to harvest it. So you don't there's no like stress. Whereas Stardew Valley is stressful. That's why I put it at medium over beginner. So yeah, cool everybody, thank you.